Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we are going to understand the next important concept from the Lean Six Sigma, which is a basis for any kind of improvement. The concept is standard work. If you want to do any kind of improvement or if you want to sustain any kind of improvement, standard work is the tool that we need to use irrespective of whatever the project that we have taken. So let's start the learning of this very important concept. Before to start, please look at these two important quotes from two quality gurus. The first one is from Taichi Ono, where there is no standard, there can be no Kaizen. In other words, we can say, we cannot think about the any kind of improvement without standard work. The second statement is from another quality guru, Joseph Juran. Without a standard, there is no logical basis for making a decision or taking action. If we summarize these two sentences, we can say that standard work is the basis for any kind of improvement. Now let's understand what is the standard work. Please look at this diagram. In this diagram, we can say there are two states. One is a present state and another is a future state. Future state is indicating the state that we are going to achieve after implementation of the improvements. To maintain the future state, it's very critical to maintain all the improvements that we had done. And to maintain these all the improvements, we can see into the diagram, there is a wage. And this wage is nothing but the standardization. Standardization is a tool that will ensure your improvements will be sustained. Without standardization, all your improvements will be rolled back with time. So let's understand what is this standardization is. In lean manufacturing, standardized work is a means of establishing precise procedures to make products in the safest, easiest and the most effective way based on current technologies. Why there is a word current technologies? Because over the period of time, the technologies are going to be evolved and we need to maintain or we need to improve our standards depending on the technology development. In other words, we can say standard work is a continuous practice that we need to follow. We need to maintain our improvements and at the same time, we need to seek for the another set of improvements. Now let's understand what are the important elements of this standard work. Standardized work is one of the principles in lean manufacturing which consists of three important elements. If you see this diagram, we can see what are these three elements. The first one is stack time. The second one is a work time and sequence. And third one is standard working process. Let's understand each of these in detail. The first one is stack time. The stack time is a rate at which parts or products must be produced to meet customer demand. This stack time is a ratio of two important concepts, available time and customer demand. The second important element is work sequence. The steps operator needs to perform within that time in the order in which they must be completed. And the third element is standard inventory or in-process work. This is a minimum quantity of parts and raw materials needed to run the operations. Based on these three important elements, we can define the standard work. Now let's understand what are the benefits of this standard work. The first important benefit is it reduces variability. By standardizing the most efficient way to perform the processes, standardized work reduces variations in the output. In this diagram, we can say there are two situations. The first one is before improvement and the second one is after improvement. Once we implement the standardized work into our processes, we can see there is a reduction in variation. With this reduction in variation, we can see we are having the more consistent quality of our product and services. Thereby, we are increasing the customer satisfaction. Work becomes more predictable because quality, cost, required inventory and delivery times can be anticipated. This is the most important benefit of the standardized work. The second important benefit of standardized work is that it helps your people. Standardized works helps operators to structure their work in a more efficient way. It removes pressure on operators by reducing the stress of performing tasks improperly. Standardized works makes trading much easier since it documents the correct way to perform all the processes. Thereby, there is a reduction in mistakes and operators are feeling like more confident. It also ensures that the new employees are given all the information needed to perform equally with the other operators. So this is also overcoming the waste of non-utilized talent. 
The third important benefit of the standardized work is that it increases safety. As we had seen, standardized work by definition establishes the safest method to perform the task and thereby when operators use this, the number of injuries decreases and the risks are prevented. This is the most important benefit of the standardized work. And the last and the fourth important benefit of the standardized work is the continuous improvement. When operators perform the task differently, there is no standardization and it becomes really more difficult to notice the eight waste of lean manufacturing in the operations. In other words, it is easier to find the opportunities for improvements when processes are consistent. Standardized work provides a basis for Kaizen that we had already seen. Without standardized work, we cannot think about any kind of improvement. And if you do any kind of improvement, that is not sustainable improvement. As standards improve, the new standards become the basis for further improvement. Improving standardized work is a never-ending process. That is also we had seen during the introduction of the standardized work. We need to do two important tasks. The first one is we need to maintain the improvements that we have done. And at the same time, we need to seek for the another or new set of improvements. These are the four important benefits of the standardized work. Now let's understand if you want to implement this standardized work in the real life, what are the steps that we need to follow? There is a six step approach that we need to follow and let's understand each of these steps in detail. First step is collect data on your current operations. Establish your work sequence and tag time. And we need to record the metrics such as cycle time, step time per operator, etc. In second step, we need to notice variations and issues. Look at the data you have collected and notice variations. Now how to identify variations and issues into your processes? We can ask some questions like, are there workers that perform the same task but the output varies greatly? Are some operators taking longer time than the tag time? Could some tasks be combined? Where are safety or quality issues are occurring? These are the some of the questions that will help you to understand the variations and issues in your processes. The third step is to find the most efficient way to run your operations. How to find that? We can use the value stream mapping to identify non-value adding steps or poka -OK to mistake proof all your processes. Your goal is to find the methods that are practical, useful to everyone and free of difficulty so that it can be maintained over a long period of time. If it is difficult for the operator, then there is an the issue of sustenance. The next step in the implementation of the standardized work is to document everything. Document the work procedure for ready references. You can use the digital work instruction for easy access, but we need to remember that when we are going to modify any document, that document needs to be updated into the system and all the old documents we need to remove from the system so that there will not be any confusion between the operators and employees. Maintain only one format or standard that is available for one single activity. The next step in the application of the standardized work is to adapt your training programs. Why it is required? It is important that employees understand the new standard procedures and adhere to them. If you are not providing these trainings, then there can be confusion between the operators. This might require retraining to the current operators because now we have modified the standards and we need to ensure that everyone knows about it. And the last step for the application of the standardized work is to continuously improve the standard. Why it is important? There is a common mistake is to think that after establishing the standardized work, you are done. But it is not. Instead, you should constantly strive to further improve the standard because this is the ultimate goal of the standardized work. We need to maintain the current improvements and also we need to seek for the another set of new improvements. This is all about the standardized work. I am sure that you have got the great insights about the standardized work and you are ready to implement the standardized work into your work processes. Let's learn another important concept of Lean Six Sigma into the next video. At the end of this video, if you have found this information useful, then please do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. If you want to learn Lean Six Sigma and Minitab most effectively and practically, then please visit at vijayasabe.co slash join or successfulcareerhub.com slash courses. One more important thing, if you want to support me or appreciate my efforts, you can also join my YouTube channel by clicking the join button at my YouTube channel. 
by joining this youtube channel you are not only supporting me but also getting an access to the perks that can help you in your career goal thank you for watching and see you in the next video